Aloha everyone, I'm Stephanie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are crafting for Easter. I start off by making labels for my girls' Easter baskets. I choose this aqua blue for my youngest. I also decided to go with a black outline for these labels. Crafting mistake here. I didn't clean my blade good, so the cuts aren't as nice here. Now I'm going to start the label for my older daughter's basket. I decided to use this orange creamsicle looking color for my older daughter's basket. I'm going to be using up what I have left of my Cricut transfer paper to transfer these decals. I'm gonna be using parchment paper to help me layer the decal here. I swear this is the best hack for layering vinyl. Whoever figured this out, God bless you. I'm using a towel here to help steady the bucket. It really helps to have it steady when you're applying decals. I'm wiping down the bucket right now with alcohol. It is perfect for getting rid of dust, dirt, and fingerprints that are on the bucket and allowing the decal to apply a lot easier. I am using my fingers 
as I lay down the vinyl to help release any small air bubbles. And it's just easier to apply it that way to make sure all, everything is lied down properly. It really helps. Now to repeat the entire process with the other Easter bucket. I'm going to be using this pink to blue color changing vinyl that I got from Hobby Lobby on a couple of cups for my girls. I did have some difficulty. As you can see, there wasn't as clean of a cut as it should have been. It's my first time working with color changing vinyl. So I'm unsure if this is normal and I have to put on a higher setting for the Cricut or if it's just because my blades weren't clean. I decided to go with a monogram for both my daughter's cups so that way it was a personalization on their cups for them.
going to be using a towel again to steady the cup since I don't have a cup holder. I picked up this cup in the Walmart dollar section with all the Easter supplies. It's a color changing cup that goes from the light pink that you see to a dark pink. The one thing I've learned while watching other YouTubers apply vinyl, it's a great hack, is to varnish Bert's, both sides of the decal. It's great to allow it to make sure it goes to the transfer tape properly. And of course, do not forget the rubbing alcohol. found this cute little Easter cup for my younger daughter. Cute with bunny, it has carrots and Easter eggs all over it. It is really cute. Now I'm doing shirts for my two girls. Since this is my youngest daughter's first Easter, I decided to do at least the bunny part to match her older sister. Just the saying on the shirt will be different.
Now it's time to heat press the shirts. I'm pressing the shirts at 305 degrees for about 10 seconds a piece, especially since I'm layering vinyl. This is just me double checking to make sure that I like the font size for this shirt. And of course, we're going to preheat the shirt for about five seconds to get out any moisture and to pretty much iron out the shirt so it's nice and flat. And of course, we're using a lint roller to make sure we get any dust and um, lint off of the shirt so the vinyl can adhere properly. Because the HTV is a cool peel, I switch between the shirts for each layer to give the um, HTV time to cool off. Please forgive the cut in this part of the video because my camera died while I was filming and I didn't notice it died. So I do apologize for not showing the ending parts of the shirts.
turning on my mini heat press to the level two setting for this next project. I here have a simple pencil pouch that I found for my daughter at Walmart. So I'm gonna put a little decal on it to make, um, personalize it for her. Over here, I added a Teflon sheet over because I wasn't 100% of the material. It felt very much like both a blend of cotton and polyester, but since I wasn't 100% sure, I figured I'd protect it. Of course, lint rolling and preheating do come into the process to make sure we have a good adhesion for the HTV. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.